Hello everybody, name's John Dingo, and welcome to Do You Remember? In today's series, we're going to be playing Swords and Sandals 1, Gladiator. Now, if you guys remember, way back in the day, Swords and Sandals was a Flash game that involved a turn-based combat, and honestly, this game and I have so much history. Uh, for you're going to see in the newest game, Swords and Sandals Immortals, I myself... And my character in Swords and Sandals, and I thought it'd be pretty sweet to kind of reminisce and go through some of the classic games. You could pick up the Swords and Sandals classic bundle on Steam, and it's honestly such a banger, and we're going to have so much fun with this one. So let's get straight into it. We're going to be playing Swords and Sandals 1, uh, but honestly, I kind of want to do what I used to do, which was uh, definitely name my character. Well, name my character John Dingo, obviously, but on I want to get right into the... Um, the customization is honestly pretty nice. I want to make myself a full charisma build because I think that's the most important thing. Hairstyle, I need to get something that's kind of close to my hair. Balding. <laughs> there we go. Now, the way I used to do this all the time was put a shit ton of points into charisma. And just yell at your opponent. But I think we're better than that. Never mind. Uh, putting into charisma and then we have three points left. So I'm going to dump the last two in Vitality and Stamina. Okay, so we just spawned here. Now we start with a thousand, and I remember the things were called like Noob Blank. So like Noob Boots. Noob Shin Guards. I'm going to go with Noob Everything. We're going to go with the full Noob build. Here we go. We got the full noob build except the breastplate because breastplates are hella expensive. However, we enter the arena versus Gerard Von Darkmoor. And we're going straight with just taunting. You win every time with taunts. Oh, and you get a trophy. Okay, you get an achievement. Anger, Thargan, the Armorer. Alright, Zoro. Getting straight into Zoro. And if you taunt people, you have a chance to smack him away, which I think is kind of sweet. I don't think I can punch this guy to death. But if you just yell at people, you honestly win. Oh, I could punch him in the head. That's the ultimate bard build, just punching your way to victory. Okay, we're already fighting our first champion, right? Wolfgang of Shackleford. I got charisma. I might actually win just by screaming at people. The taunt strategy works every single time. However, the first Swords and Sandals game, I remember being a little bit more difficult than the rest because you're kind of stuck in a certain trance. Oh, that was... That's it. Like, you just yell at people. Uh, sure. It's definitely better than my old weapon. Versus Angry Wooden. 13 damage per taunt is kind of nuts. The guy's got no HP left. Just keep yelling at people. Eventually you'll be fine. You win every single time if you just yell at people. It's kind of one of those things where if you get screwed, you get screwed. We're going to give it another go. I have to get less... Chances I have to get less angry 
more damage. That works. Oh, that angered him. Actually, oh my god, he has one HP. I have to hit him one more time. Or if I could taunt him into me, that'd be pretty good. Oh, I won! <laughs> I'm definitely gonna take his sword. We got this. Versus my door. Whose door? My door. But I can also smack him if he gets close. Taunt yourself to victory, baby. It's as simple as that. This stuff is not supposed to work. Okay, third arena champion. This is the executioner, the slave driver. I only weigh 123 pounds. Why is my character so small? Oh, this guy's got five HP left. Oh my God. He's got literally nothing left. But the thing is, I'm, I fear this guy's weapon. I feel he could like two shot me. If I just keep yelling at him, I'll win eventually, right? Taking, I'm definitely taking this dude's weapon. And that's pretty much it. That's what I could conclude with you guys right now. Swords and Sandals is an absolutely classic Flash game and it brings back so many good memories to play the game once again. If you guys want to get a little bit more information on what you could do with Swords and Sandals, you guys can visit the following page. Right over here, you have the Swords and Sandals Classic Collection. And uh, honestly, this is an absolute banger. You get all your classic Swords and Sandals games. You get Swords and Sandals 1, 2, 3, and 4. And you get the Swords and Sandals Crusaders, if I'm not mistaken, as well. And honestly, the reviews are very positive. The game is so reminiscent. And I strongly recommend that you guys give Swords and Sandals Classic Collection a shot. If you guys want to reminisce about uh, great Flash games from your past. Or if you just want to find another game to play in the present day. That's super fun and super goofy at the same time. I want to thank you guys so much for coming along to watch this video. If you guys want to see more content like this, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!